Several of the most common issues people experience with their dishwashers, including unpleasant odors, drainage problems, and poor performance, can result when grease and grime build up in its inner workings. Luckily for us, there's a simple and highly effective way to clean a dishwasher, and that's exactly what you'll learn in this video. After describing how this method works, we'll walk you through each step of how to clean the dishwasher and share a few extra tips that can help if you're dealing with stubborn soap scum or odors. Are you ready to learn how to clean the inside of your dishwasher? Let's get started. This simple cleaning method utilizes two popular inexpensive cleaning ingredients, distilled white vinegar and baking soda. Vinegar and baking soda are not only markedly cheaper than any store-bought dishwasher cleaner, but you're more likely to already have them on hand, too. The vinegar helps break down grease and grime, dissolve mineral deposits from hard water, and eliminate bacteria, whilst the baking soda eliminates lingering odors and scrubs away food residues and stains. This method will not only leave your dishwasher squeaky clean and smelling fresh, but it can also help resolve minor drainage issues, too. Here are the three easy steps to cleaning your dishwasher. Step 1. Clear the drain. The first thing you should do is inspect the bottom of your dishwasher, paying special attention to the area around the drain. All sorts of stuff can end up down there, including bones, bits of plastic, glass shards, and other things that shouldn't be in a dishwasher. Pull out the bottom rack for easier access, then remove any foreign material you find. Step 2. Vinegar Wash Next, place a shallow dishwasher-safe bowl into the bottom rack of your empty dishwasher, then pour around one cup of white vinegar into the bowl. You could use apple cider vinegar, but there's some risk that a non-clear vinegar could discolor or stain plastic interior surfaces. Close your dishwasher door, then start a wash cycle on your dishwasher's hottest setting. Step 3. Baking Soda Wash When the first wash cycle is complete, remove the bowl and sprinkle one cup of baking soda into the bottom of your dishwasher. Run the dishwasher on another hot water cycle and wipe down the exterior of the dishwasher with a damp microfiber cloth in the meantime. In most cases, dishwashers turn out perfectly clean and fresh following the second wash cycle. However, if you're dealing with tough stains, mold, or mildew issues, a third wash cycle, this time using bleach, can help, but is optional. To eliminate mold and mildew or other tough messes, add one cup of chlorine bleach to the bottom of the dishwasher and run another full wash cycle. However, skip this step if your dishwasher has a stainless steel interior, as bleach can permanently damage or discolor stainless steel. If your dishwasher still smells bad after completing the first three steps above, it could be caused by food particles or mildew hiding around the rubber seal around the door. Wipe down the seal thoroughly with a damp microfiber cloth, making sure to get into the folds where gunk likes to hide. In the future, leaving your dishwasher door partially ajar after unloading clean dishes can help give it a chance to dry out between uses, which will help prevent odor issues down the road. Repeat the cleaning method outlined above once a month or so to keep your dishwasher clean and working effectively. If your dishwasher is clean and draining properly, but your dishes still aren't coming out clean, the holes in the sprayer arms may be blocked with bits of food or hard water buildup. Depending on your dishwasher and how it's set up, you may be able to clean them yourself. Start by shutting off the water supply and power to your dishwasher. The water valve will likely be under your kitchen sink, and the power outlet or switch may be under there as well. Next, pull the bottom rack out of the dishwasher, then remove the spray arms. They can usually be unscrewed by hand, but you may need a screwdriver. Fill your sink with warm water, then add a bit of dish soap and a cup or so of white vinegar. Use a scrub brush or toothbrush to clean the holes along the spray arms in the sink. If they're clogged with stubborn gunk, try unfolding a paper clip and using it to clear the blockage. If you already have your dishwasher disconnected from water and power and the sprayer arms removed, that's a great time to check the state of the filter that sits over the drain as well. Your dishwasher filter can collect residue and grime too, so it's a good idea to remove and clean the filter every once in a while. For specific instructions on how to remove your dishwasher's filter, refer to the user manual or look it up online if you can't find the paper copy. A little soapy water should be all you need to clean it. After cleaning the filter, be sure to replace it properly along with any parts you may have had to disconnect to get to it. Replace the sprayer arms and bottom rack, then turn the dishwasher's water and power back on. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to Natural Health Remedies, and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. 
And I'm sure you're going to enjoy our next video on how to clean a toilet using baking soda and vinegar. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.